this video I'll be showing you how to do a conflict search. There are five steps to the process, so to start with, let's go to step one where we need to make sure that we have enabled conflict search. So let's head under clients, settings, and here we can see that this checkbox is enabled. If it's not enabled, just click enable and click save. And step two, we need to create related party types. So we're going to go ahead and click on the related party types tab here and then click new and add in a related party. And then we'll want to create a relationship type. Create new again. save and then for step 4 click on clients and related parties here and now we want to create some related parties here for the conflict check so let's go ahead and create a new related party Now we're going to click edit next to the new related party we've just created. Scroll to the bottom and you can add relationships here. So I'm going to click on new relationship. Select the type of relationship this is. I'm going to stick with client. The subtype. So, so these were the relationship types that we added earlier. And then we're going to go ahead and add the relationship save okay so now we have this conflict in the system I'm gonna go ahead for step 5 click on conflict search and I'm going to type in So we've had all this detail come up now to inform us in the conflict check that there is a conflict of interest.